Hello guys, this is Lula La Mami Chula and you're watching Spit Your Game TV. Yes, I have a new song out. Um, I've been recording a few. Um, it's called um, Basilón en la Glorieta. It's really cultural. I went to school here and in Puerto Rico. I love that song because uh, <laughs> um, they used to give me $4 to go to school every day. I used to buy taco for $0.60, cents, I see for $0.30, cents, and then I saved $3.10 $3 to go and buy clothing like for like a month and I went and then I went shopping for clothing but I love the song because it's kind of like the reason why I did that song I'm gonna be really really honest is because I was doing a lot of music videos for a lot of rappers like local rappers here and I was like why do I have to be in videos for people when I can do my own videos I already have experience and and not only that I also experienced you want you want drama? I can give you a little bit of drama. Okay. A little bit. You could cut it at first. Um, I also experienced like the girls that went with me to do the videos. They were placed in this position of competing with each other. Either if, if either if it was because of their looks or like I'm gonna give you an example. I'm the type of girl I do a video. Yeah, I have fun and everything, but I don't enjoy being. How can I say this? Sexualized, maybe. <sighs> like, not not really that. Or like an object, like you're. Like I can sit with my girl and we're like talking while they're recording a different section of the video. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, um, like we come from different backgrounds. There's strippers. There's girls without like with ed with education, without education. Girls that need the money more than others, and um. I, I'm not gonna be like hearing like all these types of things that they call the girls that are there and just oh, taking that bullshit. I like things to be professional. Yeah. yeah. So it's just that. And um, <laughs> um, like one of the projects that I was in, I, I'm like I'm not. I want my images to show there. I'm sorry. And what they did, they put like a uh, effect for me not to show up in the video. I'm gonna tell you the whole thing. Fuck it, I'm not gonna say name though. <laughs> so I recorded a video with a person and um, the person was really respectful and we worked together a lot, like a lot. We were really close. And what happened that, then he told me to go work with him with a different artist. And w when I went up the stairs, um, the artist was telling the one recording you need to go down there and control your <laughs> you get and then i heard that and i'm like you know what i refuse to record to be in that artist video because i came here to do a professional job and i'm not a hoe so and the girls that are here i don't care if she's a stripper or not they deserve respect and that's why i i, de I decided to stop doing music videos but i enjoy it i love it i like it but you know i like to do things in a professional way have fun too but then do it in a professional way when i say professional i i don't say like not being sexy but like not treating the girls there like they're like a piece of meat or a piece of shit. yeah yeah because that's really important for me like i always say that when you go to a job interview you don't have to just look what they're offering to you you need to see what if you're if the environment that you're gonna work in is good for your well-being as well so yeah is that the only bad experience that you have um uh, no every bad experience that you have in life i think that you you just build up from it and you just come out stronger and you just you know you know what you want and what don't you want from life so it's just what it's just part of life it's just how i say life is a beach not no it's a beach because it's beautiful but it's it's annoying at the same time when you go through things that i that everybody goes through things and it's just you know it, it's just life 